Hello friends here on YouTube. So today it's time for another uh, wine and dollies. And today I have an organic wine called Orgerak. We have it as in a box uh, here at home. So it's not come from a bottle, it's come from a box. Because we like to have it in our food sometimes, like in sauces and stuff like that. So we like to have this wine in a box. And it's really good to just drink like this too. Let me take this off, it's so warm. My hair is a little bit wet right now because um, I've just showered because we will soon go to a restaurant in another town. Um, and eat at three quarter dinner, so it will be really, really, really nice. Um, but first, I wanted to make this little wine and dollies, and I'm trying to make it pretty short this time. <laughs> so we'll see if I manage to talk about everything I wanted to tell in this video. Otherwise, I just have to make another wine and dollies for next week or something, where I take up the other stuff. So today I'm sitting here with Kara, uh, who is my fourth doll, I think. So he's really, really old. He's from 2007, like February 2007. So he's a dear friend that has followed me for quite some time. Um, and next to him we have my new doll. Um, that you saw an opening off a while back. I've just finished her face up and the thing was that when I have finished her and put her eyes in, I made her eyes too, put her eyes in and put her wig on and everything, I was looking at her and I was like, no, this isn't right. Something isn't right about how she looks. And I was like looking at her for a long time, trying to figure out what was wrong. And then I realized that it was something like it was too something that was too much around the eyes. So I was like, I really don't want to like wipe the whole face up and start all over again. Is there anything I can do just by trying to take a little bit off? Because I don't really have that much free time to do face-ups and stuff. Like I come home from work pretty late and when I come home I'm so tired. So I maybe can do like one layer of face-up and then spray and then I'm like done for the day because I'm so tired. Um, so I really really didn't want to like start the whole face-up all over again. So I tried to like just wipe off a little bit. Uh, And I think I'm... I think I succeeded. Like if you look really, really, really close on her, you might see that I have taken away a little bit. But uh, if you don't know that I have done that, you probably wouldn't see it. So um, for the time being, I'm pretty satisfied with just having her like this because I really want her to be complete and but like I am a professionist so in time I'll probably get tired of knowing that I have taken away a little bit so in time like in autumn or winter or something I would probably redo her face up again because I'm just a professionist like that um, but for the time being I need her to be finished uh, one of the reason is that in that gallery that I had my art my art displayed, uh, it's a gallery that many artists are um, every other week or so are like displaying their art and and um, one of the weeks, an artist that I have have known about for quite some time that is pretty famous around my area um, had his art up in the gallery. So I went there, I looked, and I bought a painting from him, 
and then he was talking to me when I bought the painting he was talking to me and was like oh, I saw your gallery when you displayed your art and it was so um, inspiring and I really really loved it and then he asked me if he could use one of my dolls as a model for um, for a new painting that he had in mind um, and he wanted Haruka because Haruka was the one that was on most of my pictures in the gallery because um, I displayed get photos and art like photos and paintings so uh, in the photos most of them were of Haruka and he really really loved how Haruka looked like and he wanted to have him as a model for the next art piece uh, but he wanted a girl like he he wanted to paint a girl but he wanted Haruka who is a boy as a model um, but I was pretty okay with him having Haruka as a model still even though it was for a girl because in Haruka's story um, at one point he was a model for an artist and the artist um, had him as a model for both god and goddesses uh, girls and boys and like everything he used Haruka as a model because he thought he was very beautiful um, so I was thinking that yeah it's it's pretty accurate to his story so that's fine for me but I was wondering that if the artist that I met here right now if he was okay with Haruka being a boy when he had him as a model or if he wanted her like girl with curves so I was like oh so yeah of course but um Haruka is a boy um and I was like oh well maybe you have some other dolls that I can use um and when he asked that I was thinking like I have a girl I have Aurea but I was thinking that because I had planned to buy this doll this year and I was thinking that maybe she would be perfect as a model for him so uh, we were going to meet in autumn and so i wanted her to be done before autumn so i could let him pick between her and Haruka for having him which one he wanted to have, to have as a model um so yeah i needed her to be done because i need her to be available for him as a model so now before autumn I will make um, a robe for her because he wanted to he wanted the model to have to wear a red robe so I will make a red robe for her and so yeah that needs to be done before autumn right now She's wearing a night dress that my friend Firebirdie made for Aurea a long time ago. Um, and she's wearing it right now because she doesn't have any other clothes. And I don't like, I don't really uh, like her to wear this, this um, night gown because it was for Aurea. It was specifically made for her, so I don't want her do I want don't want this doll to like no it's mine you know so she's just borrowing it right now um, I have ordered clothes for her so uh, it will soon come here and as soon as they are here um, she will have clothes that is only for her so yeah in other news I'm almost done with my tall monster high I'm not going to, I'm not going to show her face right now because I have made a video of when I made her and so I want you guys to see her for real when that video comes up but yeah I don't have so much left on her I had to like fix some details on the horns, I have to paint the ears and I have to make a dress for her but then she's done so yeah in the near future you will see a video of me 
showing you guys how I feed her. And since she is done and she is done, I can finally start on that mystery project that I've told you guys in my other wine and dollies video. And that project is actually sitting right there, but you can't see her. <laughs> and I'm pretty excited about that, to be able to start on her. Pretty excited. Um, yeah, I think I have to like end this video now. And I think I have talked about most of the things that I was going to talk about. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching.